um, it's Sylvia. I know I haven't done a video in a long time. I'm just trying to figure out how to film these and how to be able to with my tiny, tiny house. But um, anyway, I wanted to kind of ease back into it and um, show you guys a few of my favorite drugstore foundations. So that's what I'm going to do. So the first is probably one of my all-time favorite drugstore foundations, and that is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. Now this foundation is great if you want that um, luminized look without looking oily and without looking shiny. Because I have normal to combination skin. I get really oily um, around my T-zone and especially right here because, you know, getting those lines, girl. Anyway, um, this is just really good. And I, they have a decent shade range. Um, I'm in the shade porcelain slash light ivory. Uh, you can't see that. Anyway, um, yeah, and it doesn't really lean too pink. Um, this is actually a warmer shade. I'll show you a little swatch. So that's what that looks like to give you an idea. Yeah, and it's just a really nice foundation. Um, let me get my little wipe here. So my um, second foundation that I wanted to talk to you about is another L'Oreal product. This isn't sponsored. They just make really good foundations. And this is the Infallible Total Cover. Now, I did not think that I would like this. Sorry, I got an itch. Oh. I did not think that I would like this because historically I haven't really liked foundations with a moussey texture because it emphasized any dry patches that I had on my face because I do tend to get some dry patches um, right around here. I don't know if you can, well, I don't know I'm looking okay today. I'm trying, by the way, I'm trying out a new foundation um, that I heard about through at, at Taylor, that Taylor. Anyway, Taylor, um, the Golden Rose Foundation. I really like it. It's um, Golden Rose Stick Foundation. I think I paid like $7 for it. I'll show you a foundation of it too. Now, this isn't one of my favorites yet because I just started trying this out. But um, it is, it's really nice. I like it so far. So, we'll see. Um, but anyway, this. Yeah, it's just really nice. It's... It is a full coverage foundation, I think. Um, I prefer it with a brush. I tried it with a beauty blender, and it it didn't really look that great. It just kind of looked patchy. Um, but I'll show you a little swatch of it. And see, if you can see, it's kind of a moussey texture. It has a warm undertone. This is shade... 305 and it was really hard for me to try to decide which shade matched me but this actually worked out pretty well um so yeah this is a really good foundation i've heard mixed reviews i don't think it would work very well on dry skin but for normal to slightly oily i think it's you know it's pretty good and the next the milani I feel like everyone loves this foundation and it is so good. It looks really skin like it's um it's it's full coverage. Um it doesn't make you look cakey, it doesn't separate on me throughout the day, but I do have to set it. This is a foundation for me that it doesn't dry right away. Um it, it doesn't set down on your face right away, so you do have to set it with a powder, or I do. Um, but it's just, it's really lovely. The one thing that I will say is I have the, I think the lightest shade and that's creamy vanilla. This foundation is not light. Can you see that? And for reference, um, um, I'm probably a MAC NC15 to NC20. But look at that. Look how dark that is. But I can, I can make it work because I have a white foundation mixer. The Manic Panic, which I also highly recommend. If you have problem finding foundations that are um, light enough for you, super, super good. I cannot recommend that enough. But anyway, yeah. So there's that. Really nice, really nice. And 
another foundation that's actually a little similar to that, I would say, is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition Foundation. I've only tried this, I want to say three to four times now, but I really, really like it. I haven't had any problems with it. Um, it lasts seven to eight hours on me, a full work day it lasted. And um, again, it didn't cake up, it didn't look flaky or patchy. It just looked really, really nice. And this actually applies really well with a brush or a beauty blender, I think. Again, though, it just like the Milani, if you're fair skinned, if you're fair than NC20, this is probably not going to work for you. This is the shade Fair, which it's either the lightest shade or second to lightest shade. I can't really remember. But um, as you can see, it's also not that fair. Oh, what happened to my lighting? Yeah. But again, really nice. That one also doesn't set that well, so you probably will have to wear a powder with it unless you're extremely dry. And you know, if you're extremely dry, you may really like this because it does have a, a tacky feel when you put it on. So yeah, you may really like that. And another newer foundation that I love is the new Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation. And um, this is shade Soft Ivory. They do have quite a few lighter shades and darker, so that's really good. It's so hard to find a foundation that has extremely light and really dark shades, but I, I think this does okay. They do have more shades online than in store, I know. So um, if you're unable to find your shade in store, then just look online. But um, yeah, this is really nice. When I first got it, I applied it with a brush. Disaster. I hated it. I wanted nothing to do with this foundation. It was streaky. It clung to dry patches. It sucked. I actually took it right back off. <laughs> and um, yeah, I thought I was going to hate it. But then I applied it with a beauty blender and it is gorgeous. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've got some allergies and my nose is itching and running and it's disgusting. Um, but it comes with this little, a little paddle, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't really know how sanitary it is to apply it directly to your face, but that's what it looks like. I'll blend it out for you. So that actually is pretty light. I actually got another shade to mix in with it. Just, you know, in case in the summer I get a little darker which I don't tend to do because I wear sunscreen like crazy, but you know, you never know. And then the last foundation that I have is the Rimmel Lasting Finish. And I have this in shade 100 Ivory. This is the perfect foundation. Like, If you don't own this foundation, go get it. It's super affordable. I can't really remember how much it was, but I know it's not over, uh, not over $10, definitely. It's just so good. It works with a brush. It works with a beauty blender. It looks so natural on your face, but it does offer a decent amount of coverage. Um, I think really any skin type could wear this. And look at this shade, if you can see it. It's perfect. Like this shade is the perfect shade. And um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, like I said, you can apply it with a brush or a beauty blender. You can set it with powder. I usually set almost everything with powder. Um, just because I do tend to get super oily in this area. And it just really helps me. But, um, yeah, I, I can't rec recommend this highly enough. So, um, And that's about it for um, drugstore foundations for me. I do have a few that I'm testing out still but I, I don't want to say that those are my favorite it's really hard to say but this one is looking super good this golden rose so thanks Taylor <laughs> but uh, anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, let me know in the description in the comments you know what you want to see next I will provide a link to all of these in the description box and I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you in my next video